forever family is so important. Um, everybody deserves to have that, whether that's their blood family or people that they choose to have in their life. Um, I hope that everyone has communities like that, that they feel seen and understood and accepted and most importantly loved. Kristen here and we're chatting with Eva Noblezada who stars in Hades Town, the upcoming animated film Luck and Easter Sunday. I hope you enjoy this conversation. What was it like for you diving into voice acting for the first time? It was great. I mean, it, it it's different, but it's not so out of my comfort zone because I use my voice so much in my in my normal job. But doing this like without a stage, without an audience, it felt really weird at first, but because our director Peggy Holmes was there over Zoom for all of our sessions, it felt, it got, I got really comfortable really quickly. So grateful for her to have been there, but it was a blast. I learned a lot and what an incredible team and, and, and project to be a part of. Going off of that, you mentioned in, in your day job, I know you're you're currently starring in Hades Town, um, which is incredible. And so, uh, you know, not only do we know you're an incredible singer on Broadway, but you sing in the film as well. So what can you tell us about the cover that you do? It's fun. That wasn't in the original uh, script, I don't think. And when they told me that they wanted to add it in there, I was super excited because I love singing and I love Madonna and I just think that animation always has a little musical moment and I think that that's it's always one of my favorite parts. So um, yeah, I'm really lucky that they, I'm really glad that they chose to do that and add that in there. It was really fun to record. What was one of your favorite scenes to bring to life on screen? I think some of the funny things were like getting all of the efforts. So like in that scene where she's chasing Bob to get the penny, like all of the times where she falls, or she trips, like, oh, well, all of that was just so fun to me. Um, and there's so much of that in the movie. Um, but that and also I, the whole thing was was fun to do. It was quite an easy job. Um, the people who should be really getting all the credit for this, the people who actually made the movie. Um, but yeah, that was a really easy job. I'm really yeah, it was a great experience. In luck, your character Sam is struggling with a string of unlucky days. So what do you do when you're going through a bad day? I cry. I, I cry very easy. I'll probably uh, lock myself in the bathroom and cry and then wash my face and put some eyebrow gel on and some perfume and then, you know, tell myself that I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> and then I, you know, uh, to be honest. But you know, sometimes you just gotta take it on the chin and go, that's annoying, and then move on. Cause in New York, you never have time. So you don't have time to dwell. <laughs> I also really loved the message of, of sort of like the forever family or the found family that's in this film. And I was wondering if you could talk to that. It's quite a deep one because Sam has grown up in the foster care system, which I know um, here in the States is quite broken. Um, and What's so beautiful about that is Sam chooses to make sure that all of her energy goes into making sure that her friend Hazel um, does not go experience what Sam has experienced. So that's the whole point of the movie is she goes on this journey to find luck for her friend Hazel and ends up understanding that she doesn't have bad luck. Um, and if she does, it doesn't mean that she's a bad person. Um, it's a really beautiful message, but the forever family is so important. Um, Everybody deserves to have that, whether that's their blood family or people that they choose to have in their life. Um, I hope that everyone has communities like that, that they feel seen and understood and accepted and most importantly loved. And so for them to love someone as well, it's, yeah, that's such a great, it's a necessity. We, we have to have that in our lives. And I love what you mentioned also about like the, the luck is not for her. And then maybe she's, it's not that she's unlucky, you know, it's like, how can you have you know, happiness without sadness. Otherwise, you know, there's no, there's no balance. Yeah. You know, how, how do you know what happiness is unless you have those lower moments as well? So. Absolutely. And that's kind of the, the beauty of life that you never know. Um, you know, that's what they say, like, kind of like the beauty of live theater. Like when something happens that's not supposed to happen, the, the, the cast will always make sure that the show must go on and the audience really uh, admires that. And that's kind of how we can view life. Like you can't, there has to be a duality of that. Yeah, like you said, you can't experience happiness without knowing what sadness is. And yeah, very true. I'm from New York. So, you know, oh, Broadway yeah, I mean, is it. is my everything. Hades Town is my next, my next one to go see. So for you, what is it like to, you know, be back, you know, and have all of that finally back? You know, we, we kind of lost that for a little bit in the pandemic. Oh my God, 18 months. Can you believe it? Like, it feels like the pandemic was both 10 years and like, 10 years ago, it, it doesn't make any sense. Like 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm obviously extremely grateful to have uh, my, my gig back and more importantly for all of my friends and things to start getting their jobs back as well. Um, it was tough. It was really, really tough to be walking around New York and seeing all the marquees that were completely turned off. It was kind of, it was like a horror movie. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, I mean, I can't say any more than it's just nice to, theater is so special and I will always love it so much. Um, no ifs, ands, or buts. Um, just really grateful to be doing this. I can't wait for you to come see the show. It's, it's, it's so special. I love doing Hades Town. You do have Easter Sunday coming up next. So what can you tell us about that film experience? That was amazing. I mean, to get a job during the pandemic was insane. I was really, really grateful for that. Um, but also just being on set with a bunch of Filipinos. I was like, one is this, I've, I've never seen this or heard of this. I cannot believe that I get to be a part of this. Um, it's monumental. Um, Joe Coy is amazing. He's such an incredible person and leader. And um, you know, is kind of, is the heart of the movie, and it's I watched it, and it's so stupid, and in like the best way, and it just brings such a smile to my face, and to hear people that were laughing um, makes me really happy because it's something that I hope that everyone can see themselves in this movie, in Easter Sunday, and also in Luck. I want to thank you so much for your time. A big, big fan of yours. I just see like, oh, you're a star. So I love it. <laughs> so kind of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time as well. Thank you. Of course, of course. Consider subscribing if you like my videos. And if you want to talk more TV and movies with me outside of the comments section, check out the exclusive Discord available on my Patreon at patreon.com slash kmaldo. If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. See ya.